Hey guys, Brent here. Cheers. Oh, that's a good beer. I'm at this little pub in the middle of nowhere in Australia called Cranback. And in this video, I'm going to run through how I download my images into Lightroom Classic and sort through the best images over the last 12 months to find my top shots. Let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take my images off my memory card from the camera and download them through the computer onto this external hard drive that I've got. So let me show you where they live on my external hard drive. So here we go. I've um, got my images hard drive over here. I've got a folder called master images. And then in there, I've got two folders. I've got the year folder. So I've got 2020 and 2021. So 2020, you'll notice I've got an images folder and an LR, a Lightroom folder. So an images folder, what I do here is I sort it by place, by the location, because my brain works in images and I remember where I photographed something. I don't remember exactly when I shot it, which year, which month, but I always remember where it was photographed. So I've got Anna Bay, Annika, um, a couple of uh, commercial jobs I got, Barrington Tops, all these different places, Bellingen, and I've got all the images that live in there. So you'll notice when I go to the images, I've got raw images and I've got JPEG images because I shoot raw and JPEG at the same time. All right, so that's how I sort my folders out. So for 2021, I don't have too many images because it's the beginning of 2020. All I've got is Hexam. And I'm going to show you how I download my latest images into a new images folder. And then I've got an LR folder, Lightroom folder, which Lightroom then creates its own folder. So it creates 2021 in there. And then it's got all the Lightroom things, so backups and Lightroom catalog and all the different Lightroom files. Don't worry too much about that. So all you need to do is create an images folder and a LR Lightroom folder, and then everything goes into there. Once we open up Lightroom, you'll notice on the left here, now this is Lightroom Classic, as opposed to Lightroom CC. So Lightroom CC is the cloud version of Lightroom, and there's a different way of downloading images and backing them up to the cloud. I'm gonna go through Lightroom Classic because here in Australia, the internet's not great and cloud services take forever to upload your images. So I copy them from the memory card to an external hard drive, which is a super fast hard drive, which I can edit while I'm anywhere in Australia. I don't need the internet. So that's the main difference between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC. Lightroom CC is the cloud version of Lightroom. I use Lightroom Classic. Maybe I'm a, just a classic person. I'm a little slow to convert to the cloud version. All right, let me show you where everything lives. So I've got my images folder down here under folders on the left. And I've under there, if you hit this arrow to point down, I've got one folder called Hexam. So that's the only place I've photographed in January in, um, in this year, 2021. But I'm going to add another folder there soon. So as soon as I put in my memory card from the camera with all the images on it, Lightroom will then open up a import window. So let's have a look at that. All right, so here's the import window and make sure you include the subfolders, little checkbox over there, include subfolders. So here's my memory card. Uh, Canon organizes things differently to other camera manufacturers on the memory card. So all you have to do is click on the main folder and include the subfolder and you'll see all sorts of images here. And I've got a lot from last year. I haven't formatted this card in a while. But all we want to do is grab the latest images. So I'm going to do this example of the images I photographed recently of the pelicans at Tea Gardens. There we go. So there's the first image. I'm going to uncheck all. I'm going to grab the first image of the pelicans. I'm going to hold down shift and then grab the last image of the pelicans. And then I'm going to click the checkbox on one of those in there. So that's going to import all my pelican images. Now what you've got to double check here is that you've got the copy clicked. So Lightroom is then going to copy images from my memory card from the camera to the destination that I choose over here. So make sure you click the don't import suspected duplicates. And then what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to put it under the 2021, under Master Images 2021 Images folder. And then I'm going to include a subfolder and I'm going to call this Tea Gardens because um, that's where I photograph these pelican images. So it's going to create a new folder and I'll show you that soon. And then what we do is we put in keywords here. So we can put in pelican, uh, Tea Gardens, uh, Mile Lakes, National Park, things like that, birds. That's a way to sort your images. As you get more and more images throughout the year, you can sort them on one of these keywords. So if you've got a heap of bird images, you can just click on birds and you'll see all your bird images. Okay, so what we're going to do is click import. So what it's going to do, just to double check, it's going to copy images from my memory card out of my camera to my external hard drive. And then it's going to tell Lightroom where they live and it's going to give it some keywords so you can sort them later. So we click import. So let's, while it's importing, let's have a look at what's happening on my memory card. So under 2021 over here, under images, it's created a new folder called T Gardens. And there it's actually copying all the original images. Okay, here they are being imported into Lightroom. All right, so now all my images are copied to the hard drive. I can now format my memory card when I put it back in the camera. But I always suggest you have two places where all the images live, on the memory card now and on the hard drive. And when I get home, I will back up this hard drive to another hard drive so that I've got two places where all the images live, right? And it's really easy because all you have to do is copy your 2021 folder to another hard drive. And you've got all the images, the original image, and you've got your Lightroom files where you've done your editing. All right, so I've got all the pelicans downloaded into the right folder. As you can see down here, I've got two folders. I've got Hexam and I've got Tea Gardens on the left. Now what I do is I run through and I find the best images from this folder. So I do that on the day that I download them. So I might run through these images and I'll just either pick or unpick the best images. So I use the P uh, key or the U key for unpick. So I can run through them with the keyboard and I can go, Mm, yep, I like this one. I'll pick that one. And let's run through a couple more. Let's see. Yeah, not bad. I don't know. What about this one? It's taken a while. The computer's running slow again because I'm recording the screen at the same time. But you know what I mean. And we can go to G for grid mode and I can run through them and just choose the best image. Oh, here's one flying. Let's see if this is a good image or not. Uh, maybe the next one where it's coming in. Yeah, there we go. And I'm shooting this, you know, the settings with, that I'm shooting the Pelican with my 600mm lens. I'm shooting with Brent's shutter speed rule, double the focal length. So I'm shooting at 1 1250th of a second to stop the camera shake and to capture that in, you know, freeze the action. So let's just double check that he's sharp. And we'll let Lightroom load up here. Uh, I don't know. I think he is. I'm not sure because my computer is going really slow with recording the screen. Anyway, I'll pick this one. And then I'll go back to the grid mode. And what you can do here is you can turn the, and you can filters off. You can go to flagged and you'll only see the picked images. So I've only picked two images over there. So that's exactly what I've done with last year, 2020. And now we're going to go into last year's folder. And I'm going to show you how to sort through the best images for the entire year and choose your top shots. But first, my beer's empty. I need another beer. So let's get into that. Wow. <laughs> another beer almost gone. This is one of the coolest pubs I've ever been to. I think I think I should stay here tonight and there's a free camping just down there. So I've got to take my old 79 Jayco Dove down there and uh, camp because I'm not driving anywhere <laughs> right now. Sorting through the best images for 2020, the last 12 months. So the first thing I need to do is actually need to open up the, the last catalog. So my Lightroom 2020 catalog and then I'll get into sorting through the best images from the last 12 months. All right, so 2020, you'll notice I've got all my location folders here exactly the same as is on my hard drive but what you got to do is you got to reveal the images folder above that so I've already done that but 
if you've only got your location folders, you need to reveal your images folder. So if you click on images, now you've got all the images for the entire year, right? So what we want to do is go to the flagged images. So every month or every location I was at, I flagged the best images for that location. And you'll notice I've got a heap of images over here. A lot of flagged images. I don't know how many there are. Let's have a look. If I cruise to the bottom of this, you'll notice I've got uh, 764 flagged images from 2020. And I've got dozens of locations I was at. But that's too many to sort through, right? So what I do is I choose all my flagged images and then I go through them one at a time and I choose the best images from there. So let's just look at this lorikeet, for instance, that I photographed at my friend Macca's house. What I do is I give the best images from all my flagged images a color label. So I'm choosing this pink or red or whatever you want to call it over here. So I give it a pink label and then I can run through all these Im other images and you'll notice quite a few of these I've given pink labels. So then what you do is in the library module, we are sorting by flagged only images, right? Because if I go to filters off, <laughs> I have got many thousands of images here. Let's have a look. 13,277 images. So that's quite a lot. But if I choose only the picked images that I've chosen throughout each of these locations, I've only got uh, 764 of 13,000. Now I choose the color label. Now you can use the star rating system over here at the top. I like kind of like the um, digital version, the on or off, like not the analog, like one, two, three, or four stars. So like um, for me, it's if it's not a hell yeah, it's a no. So I'll run through my images and I'll go hell yeah, and then I'll run through the next one. Yeah, maybe, which maybe is a no. But this is a hell yeah, so there we go. So now that I've actually got my flagged images and my red or pink label images, I've got now I've got 39 of the best images from last year. And these are images that mean something to me. Uh, either... It was an emotional photo shoot, something, the light was just magic, like this one over here. I don't know, so there's, there's something that gives your image a hell yeah. When you look at it, you're like, yeah, hell yeah. Yes, this is Donna. Um, she's in Switzerland now, and I miss her because I want to photograph more. If you're watching this, Donna, this was just an amazing shoot. Uh, you know, some, some of the sunsets that I photographed, the... Yeah, the the essential Australian kangaroo <laughs> shot, uh, this movement shot of the waves, all sorts of images. The this, this photographer when I was trying to photograph these wave images, all sorts of my dingo shots. A lot of these come from my boot camp masterclass lessons that I create every month for my boot camp members. So if you're not a boot camp member, there's a link below this video. Make sure you go join the waiting list and I'll let you know when there's a spot available for you to join in. So every month I create a masterclass and a challenge and just love it. Um, it's like my second home. It's my, it's, yeah, it's kind of the place I hang out a lot in and I comment on everyone's images and give everyone feedback and then we create a magazine every month. Anyway, yeah, so I've, I've, I've shot a lot of images last year, but that's how I get to the, the very best, my top shots. And by the way, the bootcamp challenge for this month, January 2021, is top shots. It's your choosing your best images from the last 12 months. And there have been some amazing images posted so far. So that's it, guys. That's how I choose my top shots. Pretty easy. Let me just recap where we put everything. So make sure you've got an external hard drive, a really fast one. I use the solid state Samsung must, uh, hard drives. Make sure you put everything under the year, so 2021 for this year. Images folder, that's where all your original images live, and then you choose the location, Hexham and Tea Gardens for me right now. And that's where my original images live. You've got a LR, Lightroom folder, and that's where Lightroom puts all its files and folders. And that's it. Um, pretty easy. And then you use the 
tagging system, the pick and the unpick, the P and the U. And then you use the color label system to get to your very best images from your picked images. So that's it guys. I hope you found this video very useful. Please leave me a comment below this video. I'd love to know what you think. And if you haven't joined Bootcamp, make sure you join this amazing community. This is Brent. Have an amazing day.